Hello and welcome to this Mason Cash tutorial. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to steam a pudding in your Mason Cash pudding basin. All you need is a Mason Cash pudding basin, some butter, some greaseproof paper, some tin foil, some string, a pair of scissors and a pan or a steamer. So the first thing we do is take the Mason Cash pudding basin and grease it with the butter. Next, we cut a circle out of greaseproof paper, butter it on one side and drop it butter side up into the pudding basin. Next, you'll need to drop your pudding mixture into the basin. Here's one we made earlier. This is a Christmas pudding, so it needs to be pressed down firmly into the basin and fill it to about two centimeters from the top of the basin. If it was a sponge pudding, you'd just tip it straight in from the mixing bowl so that it stayed nice and fluffy. That's nicely packed in, so we now need to create a lid for the basin to form an airtight seal for steaming. To do this, we cut out a square of greaseproof paper and a larger square sheet of tin foil. What we do is fold a pleat into the two squares, like so. Then we place that on top of the mason cash pudding basin, foil side up. The pleat on the lid will expand if the pudding expands, allowing the mixture to breathe while steaming. We then tie the lid around the rim of the pudding basin as tightly as possible. The rim protrudes quite a lot on mason cash basins. To make this easier, lift the foil up and trim the greaseproof paper underneath it. Then fold the foil under the paper to form the airtight seal. Next, you need to create a handle for the lid. Simply thread a long piece of string under the string already tied to the basin at one end and thread the other end through the other side. Then tie the two ends together to form the handle. This allows you to easily lift the basin in and out of the steamer. Now we're ready to lift the mason cash pudding basin into the steamer or pan. Pop it in the pan using the handle and pour in some boiling water so that it fills the pan to about halfway up the pudding basin. Put the lid on the pan and place on a hob for however long you need to steam the pudding. Remember to keep filling the water level up to halfway up the basin if the water level inside the pan falls below a quarter of the way down the basin. Otherwise, your pudding may fry rather than steam. Remember, each Mason Cash pudding basin has three grooves on the bottom to allow bubbles and air pockets to escape from underneath the basin when steaming. So this pudding has been steaming for eight hours and is ready to take off the heat and turn out. Lift the basin out of the pan with the handle, nice and gently. Then cut away the string. It may still be hot, so be careful when doing this. That steamed perfectly. So just prise the edges of the pudding away from the basin with a knife or spatula. Then cover the basin with a plate and flip it over. Then shake it to release it. Remember to remove the greaseproof paper from the top of the pudding. And then, all that's left to do is serve it with some cream or custard. And that's how you steam a perfect pudding with your Mason Cash Pudding Basin. Remember, for more hints and tips, recipes and tutorials, go to masoncash.co.uk. See you next time.